Amanda, what more can you tell us about what actually happened last night, first of all? OK, well, the details of, of the attack on uh, Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell are pretty horrific. Um, he was a volunteer football coach uh, for his local team, the Barra Swifts, and he'd been finishing up a uh, under-15s training session with them, uh, walking towards his car, and him and his young son and a couple of uh, his uh, friends had been putting footballs into the boot of the car when they were uh, approached uh, by two masked gunmen who opened fire uh, on, on the officer. Uh, he uh, ran to move away and as he fell to the ground uh, further shots uh, were fired at him and he sustained uh, life uh, changing injuries uh, first aid was administered on the scene by somebody with medical training before the ambulance service arrived and then he was taken to Alton the Galvin uh, Hospital in Derry that's in the in, in the northwest uh, for treatment to his injuries my understanding is that uh, he may require further uh, surgery today and that the, the PSNI are liaising with his, his family his family who are obviously distraught. Now, yes. the, the 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 three arrests that have taken place today uh, are of men aged 38, 45 and 47 under the Terrorism Act. So uh, officers can have up to two weeks to uh, question people without charge if you're arrested uh, in those particular circumstances. So we'll I wait to see what flows from that. However, while police suspect a uh, dissident Republican anti-peace process, uh, Republican activity uh, within this case, uh, DCI Caldwell was this very high profile senior uh, officer who had been involved in investigating perhaps up to 90 murders over the last 26 years. So all lines of inquiry remain open at this point. Right. I mean, an awful, awful thing to happen to this police officer, awful for the for everyone, including the children who were there and also for Northern Ireland and people in the area where it would bring back so many terrible memories. Yes, well, certainly the Oma uh, area, everybody knows that it's uh, had its fair share of trauma visited on it. Um, the the five uh, political party leaders of the five main parties in Northern Ireland issued a joint statement today uh, reflecting on their solidarity with John Caldwell and his family, but also uh, referencing the trauma that Oma's experienced. Everyone knows the 1998 uh, Oma bomb was an, uh, one of the worst atrocities of, of the conflict period or the Troubles period uh, in Northern Ireland when 29 people lost their lives, including a woman who was pregnant with twins. And then, of course, uh, the, the murder of Ronan Kerr, a young police officer in 2011, uh, a, a bomb uh, incident. Also, uh, it's at the top of people's minds. But I think you're right in what you're saying, John, just about the, the sort of wider impact on the community, but also on John Cal Caldwell's colleagues. I interviewed the Police Federation chair, uh, Liam Kelly, earlier, and he was reflecting on the fact that John Caldwell had 26 years experience. He had, he had become a, a police officer at the start of the, the peace process uh, era, but that now within the service that it's a large organisation with a lot of younger officers who would have had no experience of this uh, type of incident. And he said that, um, you know, it was, it was uh, he said the terror sometimes looks for the easy option at times. It's still dangerous out there for our people.